Hey guys, another quick video for our Japanglish playlist. Look at this one, Water Life Partner. So we've shown you lots of life before, happy life, good life, but it's also used for products. So you'll see hamburger life or tennis life. Use this racket for your tennis life. So it's sort of, you can see how the pattern there, it's sort of being used as that aspect of your life. So the tennis aspect of your life, use this racket for your tennis life, okay? So your water life partner is the company that looks after your water deliveries because that's your water life. <laughs> right. So classic Japanglish because they've taken the meaning from English and started using it in a different way. And now it's commonly used in Japan in that way. You know, come to this shop for your shoe life, right? Getting the idea? <laughs> What a life partner. Oh, here's a really quick one going past. Look at this guy. Heart and water delivery. Okay. Heart and water delivery. Eh? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. No, something. Uh, something, not really sure what. Something. No, something. Don't do something here. Don't do something here. Not really sure. Obviously a typo, but nobody picked up on it. Back of a car, Hysteric Glamour Mini. Hysteric Glamour Mini, that, that might be my ex-girlfriend in that car. <laughs> Hysteric Glamour Mini, okie dokie. <laughs> yep, fair enough. Back of a truck, Only Wonderful. Rightio, <laughs> that's it. That's all there is to it, guys. Only Wonderful, nothing more, nothing to add. Oh yeah, website, on a website. And we've been seeing this my thing a lot. We've showed you a few my already, my happy life, my something, my page. So it's just the login for this website, but they're calling it my page. This my thing is absolutely booming in Japan at the moment. We're seeing it all over the place, used in this way. It's sort of, in, in Japanese they say jibun, jibun no, which is a person's own but of course we don't use it that way in English do we but it's just everywhere this my thing and people are starting to say it and we've had that before in the past people talking about my car when they're talking about your own car and they use it here a lot and it can really do your head in because it's of course it's confusing when they start using it because they're speaking Japanese and they're saying my car but of course it has a different meaning to them it means a person's own car it doesn't mean their car <laughs> you can see you end up with your head spinning. Oh, look, give the my thing a break, will you? It's not mine. It's not yours. <laughs> it's just the home page, okay? Call it the home page. But anyway, there it is. My. It's everywhere. We'll see more of those, no doubt, on the Japan English playlist. Sunfoot Home, produced by Upwish Group. You can sort of get the feel, right? Upwish. So if you dream of better things, you're upwishing, aren't you? So we showed you that before too, level up, uh, skill up. So up wish means to dream for something bigger. It's a glass, it's original glass jar for drink, salad, etc. Let's enjoy it anytime, anywhere. Wouldn't be a Japanglish video without let's, would it? Let's enjoy it anytime, anywhere. That's a very flexible glass. You can take it anywhere, that's fabulous. Fried chicken. You'd think before you printed the package, you'd at least pull out the dictionary and just have a quick look, wouldn't you? <laughs> just a quick check of how to spell chicken before you go and make the package. But anyway, we create the new generation's package. Well, let's hope they own a dictionary. <laughs> oh, this one's funny for a few reasons. Do not take a break here. Okay, so it's a water park. Don't be having a rest there, you people. Stopping and catching your breath. That's not on. And brake, B-R-A-K-E. <laughs> no hand braking here, you people. Smile summer. See this all the time too. Smile shoes. Smile happy day. Smile good times. Smile happy hamburger. Whatever. <laughs> Smile summer. Yeah. Fair enough. If we, if we must. Oh, look, American people probably won't find this funny. Australians and English people will die laughing. D-girls, we are always rooting for the dragons. <laughs> That's very sporting of them, isn't it? Very generous. <laughs> it's 
So guys, after we'd already finished editing this video, we got a bit curious about the D-Girls thing, so we went looking and found some more information about them, and in amongst it all was this photo. So not only do they have that on that fan, but they've also got it on their t-shirts. So they're walking around with these t-shirts. D-Girls, we are always rooting for the dragons. <laughs> Pretty good of them, isn't it? Again, our American friends probably won't think there's anything odd about that, but our English and uh, Australian friends will, no doubt. Uh, here's one of those um, Mitsuoka cars. They've changed it around from something else, we think. But it's like Galoot. Hey, you big Galoot. So it actually is a big Galoot. So some people might not have heard Galoot before, but it sort of means a big dorky dude, you know, big dorky guy. Galoot. Hey, you big Galoot. So it just cracked us up because it's a big car. So hey, you big Galoot. You big Galoot. We were with a carload of Japanese people. That was really hard to explain. Nobody laughed except me. <laughs> hey, look, there's a big Galoot. <laughs> okay, favourite one to last. Like this one. This one says, We like clean the earth. Just sort of a funny, because just sort of picture this giant vacuum cleaner, right? We like clean the earth. <laughs> Get those guys around to your country with their big vacuum cleaner and they'll have it looking spick and span in no time. <laughs> More videos coming soon.